Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we're running Linux Mint Budgie. Yeah. We're going to talk about how I uh, set this up. I'm going to show you the system. Um, it does appear more stable than the other systems I was experimenting with. Hopefully this will not crash as I change the camera. No, no problems. All right, there you go. That's good. Um, let's see, do I have an option to always keep that on top? Yeah, I do. Let me see if I also have the, let's see, this is always do on top. All right, so there we are. All right, so we are on Linux Mint, and uh, this is Linux Mint 18.3, and I am running Budgie. And um, this, was a, this was a nice little setup. Here's my, my main menu here. Um, and I have, uh, you know, I've actually gone through and already added uh, at least the majority of the programs I need. I think Midor Midori doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't save logins anyway. That's the problem I was having with that. I um, do get a couple, like you just saw that brief laggy there. I get a couple of those little laggy interfaces every now and again, but it's actually pretty rare. Um, this is running directly off of the uh, thumb drives that I thought were probably just dying. Um, and I started talking and the kitty wants to come up. Hello, peoples. All right. Um, so here is my, you know, there's my Raven menu. You can see that that's working fine. Of course, I have my uh, desktop on on place, and I have my, uh, you know, I put a nice Linux Mint, one of the nice Linux Mint banners there as well. Um, so what are the first? Let's talk about the the couple issues. When I first got everything installed. Um, folders were crashing as I was transferring things from folder to folder. Um, after I got another update to the file manager, which is Nautilus in this case, um, then that actually went away. So I've not actually had any system crashes since then um, on anything. And really what would happen is the, uh, the file manager would crash, and any time I relaunched the files, either over one my dock or... Uh, launching files down inside of here, uh, then that would actually re-engage it. Uh, so it wasn't like a serious crash, it was just a little bit of one. Uh, the other thing that I'm noticing is my location, my Raven menu just keeps moving. I just kind of, I've, okay, I'll just let it go where it wants to go. It keeps moving. I would prefer to have my show desktop here, which it is, the Raven menu, and then the power options, but it just keeps moving. In fact, I'll uh, load up my Raven settings and, uh, my Bungie desktop settings from the Raven, Raven menu there and just kind of show you that on the bottom panel um, that it is actually supposed to be in that order. Uh, show desktop, uh, Raven, and then I'm guessing this is the logout item. Uh, but for whatever reason, it keeps moving. Um, it, on login, it like shifts over one spot every login. Not sure why, um, but oh well. And you know, this isn't an officially supported thing. But if you do want to run Budgie on Linux Mint, this is it. Of course, let me uh, prove to you we are running Linux Mint. Kitty, can I like type stuff in? Is that like possible? Please. Um, we'll go down here to details. And we're on, you know, 1604 base, Linux Mint 18.3. Uh, the processor here, we have Gallium AMD, I don't know, A8 5500 uh, APU. Uh, with Radeon HD graphics, um, and I don't think I have anything in the uh, drivers propri uh, proprietarily installed. I should probably look into that, see if that, uh, can't even find the drivers at this point. I'll look into that when the video's done. Um, all right, uh, but regardless, um, I did get rid of the uh, the panel, the uh, the plank panel that is installed on Budgie by default because I actually hate that thing. If I do want to run a panel, I like Cairo Doc because I just love the animations, uh, I love the appearance of it, and you know, I mean, it may or may not matter to you what your desktop looks like, but in reality, I'm surrounded by computers all day long. I like things looking nice, and so you know, I like I like what I can do with these panels. And so that's kind of what my what my goal is there. Um, to get rid of that, um, it was actually uh, it was showing up in one of the startup places. It was not actually starting up in this auto start. You'll see it is there now. It was not there until I actually went into the Linux um, the Linux Mint auto start is where I found that. Um, uh, what is it? It's called startup. It's hard to type with a cat on my lap. He's just like, dude, what are you like? Leave me alone. What? I'm trying to do a video, kitty. 
All right, so I actually came into this startup application and disabled it. I tried everything from renaming it. You can't uninstall it because it will take the Budgie desktop with it. Um, so I had to find it. It ended up being uh, it ended up being here in the uh, in this startup, not in the Budgie startup applications. So if you are having trouble getting rid of that plank, that's how you might like the plank. That's fine. That's up to your approach. I like using this system, and I forget which theme I'm using with this one. I think it's called the diamond theme for Cairo Doc. And then, of course, I go in and I get rid of the, uh, it does come with a 3D plane that I think just looks out of place. And so I get like getting rid of that 3D plane. So that's how it's set up exactly as I like it. Um, let's see. I installed Simple Screen Recorder by installing the PPAs. Everything else, I believe everything else I installed was directly uh, in the repositories. Um, another issue, and this is more having to do with the Cairo doc, um, any cities that have two, um, two letter, like two words in their name, you can't find in the Cairo doc lookup. You have to look up. So what I end up doing is finding a city that's close to state college. That is uh, one word long. And that's actually how I found my location for my, my weather app. All right. So how do we go ahead and do this? Um, because I did find a website. In fact, let's just go ahead and look at the website first and see what we can say on um, Budgie on Linux Mint. Um, let's just throw this over here. Oh, come on, kitty. All right. I believe it's the Noobs Lab Remix. So this is a PPA put together. Um, so uh, since we're running this on 1604 base, um, we needed to run, I believe I ran this one here to add the repository. You want to update it. And then you have a minimal and the complete. And I actually don't know what the difference is. Uh, I went ahead and did the, the bottom one here, the full uh, budgie desktop environment. So I run that. Now, what I did not see made reference to in this article, maybe it's there and I missed it. But if you do this, you will notice uh, that your um, in your budgie desktop settings, your desktop options are missing and you will not be able to have anything on your desktop. Uh, the reason for that is that Budgie requires Nautilus, and so you installed Nautilus. So let's go up here because I haven't done much in this. So here's where I added the PPA. Let me just go ahead and full screen that. Well, half screen that one there. So I added the repository for the Budgie Remix PPA. I hit enter and do that, update it, and then I installed the Budgie desktop environment. I exited, rebooted the system, and then of course I was not actually able to load up the um, um, anything on the desktop. The files weren't there uh, because, of course, Linux Mint uses Nemo, which I love. This uses uh, Nautilus, which I hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm so so about. So here I just ran the uh, app get install Nautilus, it, so you didn't have to do any um, PPA work or anything. It's directly already in the repositories. Um, and then, of course, that's where I installed this, the uh, simple screen recorder. So they're just installing Nautilus, log out, log back in, and then on your login screen, you will then have the option to choose the Cinnamon desktop or the Budgie desktop. And so that is that is it. Um, as I said, some of the early problems that I had is if I was trying to manage, uh, if I was trying to drag drag files, can I get the, uh, this is one of the things I don't like about Budgie is uh, like the GNOME platform itself is I don't have the quarter, uh, the quarter loads like I have in Linux Mint. Um, transferring files back and forth was actually crashing the file manager. Um, just doing this would crash it. Uh, I ran an update after, after I installed Nautilus, there was actually a Linux Mint update. I updated that and then that actually fixed that problem. So I've not actually had any of those crashes. Everything else works exactly the way Budgie should work. Um, I haven't had a chance to fully test all of the integration for all the media players, but I don't envision there's going to be much of an issue there. Let's actually, let me actually load up VLC, um, see if VLC integrates in Budgie or not. So, yep, it does. So there you go. Then close it from right there. And then, of course, I used the uh, I used kind of like the more budgy, modern, flat themes. Not generally my favorite uh, way of doing a desktop, but it, it actually works well with budgy. So 
that's what I did. So here's my uh, theme setting, Arc Dark for widgets. I'm using Odweta icons because I just don't like the... Um, the I definitely don't like the Linux Mint ones. If there were some of the other budgie ones in here, I'd probably pick one of those other ones, but eh, I'll deal with that. And then, of course, I went with the white cursor because I'm running a dark theme everywhere else. Now, on your desktop icons will work. I can uh, toggle this button here and turn them off or turn them back on. Um, and then here's your fonts. I didn't mess with any of those. Window layout. Uh, there's that. Where's the, uh, I think the desktop backgrounds. Change background. All right, so in your uh, in your backgrounds here, um, it, you will actually only have the option inside the wallpapers for the ones that come with Budgie, which are essentially the GNOME uh, backgrounds plus a few other ones. And it looks like there might be some here. Like, I know this one comes with Linux Mint, although I'm not completely certain if that's also in, in the, the GNOME systems as well. Um, so some of these actually look like they were coming from Linux Mint, but it's really only one of the Linux Mint folders. To get these other uh, the other desktops that I could pick, which are the, uh, the two Linux Mint ones here I had, um, these ones here I actually um, just went into, uh, I actually prefer this one here. I went into the folder in the um, main files, go down here to its user. Uh, I think it's, is it, no, it's, I think it's user share backgrounds. Okay, user share backgrounds. So. On Linux Mint Cinnamon, you'll see these four are fully integrated in, and then of course you can add your own. On Budgie, you really only have these options here. Um, and then, um, so basically I just copied these guys over here, I copy them directly into my picture. So if there is one of these other images that you really want, you can just copy it out of this system here, just drop it into your pictures uh, folder, and then you can, um, you can, um, uh, run the images that come with Linux Mint as well. So that's what you can do and that's how I got my Linux Mint logo and I'm going to keep that for now. I like I like the the darks, the grays that this computer is looking at right now. Um, so everything does seem to be working pretty well. I went through most of the day today. I, I've had, like I said, just a couple few system lags here and there but nothing significant. Um, even video has actually been a lot smoother on this than it has been on several of the other distros I've been running lately. So once again, Linux Mint for the win. But if you really like Linux Mint and you really like the Budgie desktop, that's how you do it. Just install the, uh, the Budgie desktop PPA from the, is that the Noob Labs? I showed the link earlier. Uh, just install that PPA, install the Budgie desktop environment, and then just don't forget to install Nautilus as well. And then everything should work for you. It shouldn't have any problems. And then, of course, I removed the plank by removing it from the auto start so that doesn't show up anymore. And then I just went ahead and put all of my most used applications right here on the Cairo dock uh, so everything works out uh, well out of the box. So this is essentially set up the way I like a computer set up. So I'm going to run with this one for a while. Actually, I moved my emails and stuff over here as well. So this guy here should be able to do pretty much anything the office system needs to be able to do. And uh, we are now running Budgie. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. And uh, if you try this yourself, let me know how it works for you. And again, this will give you the option if you are having problems with Budgie, you can always go back to Linux Mint Cinnamon as well. So that's also uh, still installed on the system. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support. And uh, thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux Mint Budgie.